Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. Today, the church is remembering the North American martyrs, St. Isaac Jog, St. René Brebeuf, and a group of other Jesuit priests, and mostly seminarians, uh, who died in the 1600s up in upstate New York. They'd come from France to share the gospel message with the native people, especially the, the Iroquois Indians. The uh, number of the folks accepted the faith. They were baptized, and they went on to become great Christians and pass on the faith to generations of children. Uh, but some were hostile to the message, including some other tribes, which led to the martyrdom of these uh, brave and courageous men. They, they came to share with them God's love. They came to share the message of faith. They came to bring them to a font much like this, so they could be reborn in the waters of baptism and become saints like those whose images are behind our baptismal font. I have to say that more and more as I stand at this font and baptize people, whether it's during a weekend mass or in, in a separate ceremony, uh, as, as I pour the water, my eyes gaze towards this mural of the saints, a, a reminder that that is the goal of our baptism. Baptism isn't simply a, a little ritual that uh, allows the family to gather for a party, which sadly it's become in some cases. You may have seen on the news that a diocese in southern Italy actually has banned godparents because people have forgotten the purpose of godparents to lead people in Christianity. Uh, but sadly, it's been you know, relegated to making social connections. Friends, we have to rediscover what baptism means if we're going to rediscover what to be a Christian means. Yes, it washes us from original sin and actual sin. Yes, it gives us new life in Christ. Yes, it makes us a member of the church, but also it sets us on the path to sanctity. The sanctity of the North American martyrs didn't begin when they started evangelizing the native people, but rather on the day of their baptism. The same with us. The anniversary of my baptism comes up in just a few weeks after my birthday, and it's a time of great rejoicing. Uh, gratitude for what God has done and please God is doing in my life. Think about your baptism today. Next time you go into church and you bless yourself with holy water, remember that day and commit yourself to being the saint God needs you to be today. And may God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.